Good morning, learners! Welcome to Health Education 10, Quarter 3, Week 1, Day 1, with its objective, discusses the significance of global health initiatives. This is Mary Jo F. Reyes, your teacher for today. Our lesson for today is all about health trends, issues, and concerns on global level. Global Health, Copeland and Associates states that global health is an area for study, research, and practice that prioritizes health improvement and achieving impartiality in health care and wellness worldwide. United Nations Millennium Development Goals The United Nations Millennium Declaration, signed in September 2000, commits world leaders to fight discrimination against women and children, disease, hunger, poverty, illiteracy, and environmental degradation. These are goals set by the United Nations for its member nations to be fulfilled on an agreed span of time to be evaluated and counterchecked under the world standards. The United Nations Millennium Development Goals has eight targets that all 191 UN member states have agreed to achieve by 2015. Number one, eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Focuses on poverty and hunger reduction through improving agricultural productivity and incomes in promoting better nutritional practices at all levels and programs that enhance direct immediate access to food by the neediest. Number two, achieve universal primary education. The urban-rural knowledge and education is today's main barrier in achieving universal primary education by 2015. At the same time, the learning ability of the rural children is compromised by hunger and malnutrition. Number three, to promote gender equality and empower women. It is important to promote the total and equitable participation of both men and women in efforts aimed at improving poverty reduction, food security, and sustainability of rural development. Without gender equality, the economic and social improvement for rural women, food security cannot be achieved. Number four, to reduce child mortality. To reduce the under-5 mortality rate by two-thirds in the period between 1990 and 2015. This refers to the probability of dying between birth and exactly five years of age expressed per 1,000 light births. Number five, to improve maternal health. To fight and alleviate negative trends in mental health to improve and make mental health services and care accessible and to prevent abuse of rights and unjust treatment against people with mental problems, disorders, and disabilities. Number six, to combat HIV AIDS, malaria, and other diseases. This aims to combat HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases to have a direct and indirect impact on rural development, agricultural productivity, and food and nutrition security. At the same time, food and nutrition insecurity and malnutrition can increase vulnerability to disease. Number seven, ensure environmental sustainability. The natural resources, base, and ecosystem must be managed sustainably to meet people's food requirements and other environmental, social, and economic needs. Climate change, increased water scarcity, and conflicts over access to resources all pose challenges to environmental sustainability and food security. 
At number 8, Global Partnership for Development aims to develop a global partnership for development. The targets most relevant to the mandate of FAO relate to the special needs of least developed countries, landlocked countries, and small island developing states, the trading and financial system, and new information and communication technology, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. And that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented in the module. If today's lesson is clear to you, congratulations! You may answer the exercises in your module. Good day and keep safe, everyone!